if you were doubting that that personal branding is is absolutely critical to your career success before, hopefully we've made a dent in that opinion. And now you're thinking to yourself, okay, I, I'm a believer. I want a brand. Bradley, a lot of folks know they need to brand, but it can be intimidating um, yeah. getting started. So, you know, what are some what are some I guess tips, best practices for getting started with creating your brand from scratch? Yeah, let let me. I'll I'll, I'll try to run through this the best way I can. I've been. I've been in TikTok mode lately. I've been doing these three to five minute LinkedIn reviews on TikTok. I did 15 of them last week. Um, so I've kind of got this like mode in my head where I'm running through a LinkedIn review. So I'll, I'll sort of phrase it that way. The first thing, you have two images on LinkedIn. You've got your profile picture and you've got your background picture. A lot of people think, where's the value here? Like what, I mean, I see people without a profile picture or I see people with like a flower as their profile picture. Like, do your thing, be yourself. We're all different. But if if somebody says, hey, Brad, I was looking to see if I could get some help uh, trying to land a Salesforce job. And I go, okay, cool. My first impression is your profile picture. Like, that's who I'm talking to. And it's much easier for me as a human to talk to a human than a flower. So I can relate to that much better when I'm talking to someone and I feel like I can see you and I can sort of look at your face when I'm talking to you when I'm sending that message back. And that's just how we communicate. Like that's how communication works. And have a good profile picture. And, and one thing I wanna say is high quality. I personally don't care if you're dressed in like casual or business or whatever else. That doesn't bother me too much. That's up to you, how you wanna present yourself. Some people are, you know, hardcore believers that like dress for the job you want, right? And like, so you need to show up and like be who you want people to see you as. And I think that's true. You do need to look like what you want people to see you as. Um, like I'm not wear, I don't wear like a suit that's like super flashy and sharp or anything because I prefer an approachable image. I want people to feel like Brad's a guy that I could send a message to and I don't think it'll bother him. In fact, I think he might respond to me in a real way. That's that's my recommendation, that's my advice. You can do whatever you want. My recommendation is to take a picture of yourself, smile, look approachable, um, look like the type of person somebody wants to reach out to, to say hi to, that they wanna set you up for an interview because they think, you know what, I'm looking that person right there in the face and they look like a great person that I would love to work with 40 hours a week. Let me reach out to them. Your background, your background image. So many times I've seen people with like, a cityscape. It's like the high rise skyscrapers of whatever city they live in. So cool. Have pride in your city. That's awesome. It's a billboard. All right. So that background banner on your profile is a billboard. You need to think of it that way. So think if you're driving down your local interstate and there's a billboard and everybody knows you want a job, right? This billboard is all about how you want a job as a Salesforce professional. If they drive by and they see a skyline of Chicago, does that help them know that you want a job? Does that help tell them about you and why you're valuable and showcase you? No, it doesn't. So when you're creating your background image for LinkedIn, you can use free tools like Canva. They have free versions, Snappa, S-N-A-P-P-A, free versions. Um, use those tools. So easy to create an amazing background. If you go do our five-day challenge, we have free LinkedIn backgrounds um, that you can use and just pop in there. Uh, if you're certified, if you're a ranger, if you're just on trailhead, just getting started, there's different versions for where you're at in the journey. Um, pop those on your, your profile. They look really nice and they showcase you much more evidently than just having a random thing. Like a guy I talked to yesterday, great profile, looked really good, but his background was just like a motivational, almost like, like marketing phrases. It was just like um, happy, joy. Like it's like, it's nice. Like I get the vibe. But if you are looking for a job, we got to make sure people know you're looking for a job and that they see your value immediately. Um, so those are the two big things as far as imaging goes. Your title and your about section are very important. And so are the bullet points under your experience. The reason these are important are for SEO, search engine optimization. When people are looking, recruiters are looking, hiring managers are looking to hire someone. Your The keywords that come back in those search engines. So when they type in looking for Salesforce certified professional, Salesforce certified administrator, Salesforce certified analyst, LinkedIn is giving them results based on what it's finding when it searches the page. So it's gonna search your title, it's gonna search your about section, it's gonna search all those bullets under your experience. And the more it sees keywords like Salesforce, productivity, certified, efficiency, flows, 
processes. The more it sees those types of words, the more it's gonna pull back. So my recommendation for your title, if you're looking for most people transitioning into Salesforce careers are looking for admin and analyst roles. Those are the two most common entry level roles uh, for non-technical backgrounds. Uh, my title would be, if I'm not certified, it's Salesforce Administrator forward slash Business Analyst. If I am certified, it's Salesforce Certified Administrator forward slash Business Analyst. That is my title. Um, the reason for that, you're gonna pull back in search engine results and it's gonna help you show up in front of people more often. Um, I could go on for days with LinkedIn tips, but hopefully that gives you a kickstart onto what you should be paying attention to first and foremost. Yeah, that, that's extremely helpful. I know we've got a couple of raised hands and I'll get to those in just one second. I just wanted to underscore the fact that your, your LinkedIn real estate is extremely valuable. So if you think about like the New York Times, right? Half the people who read the, the newspaper look at the front cover, right? You know, maybe they scan down below the fold and then they go to the funnies, the sports section, whatever. Think of it the same way. Your LinkedIn profile, recruiters, hiring managers, maybe look for five, six seconds tops before they go on to the next profile. So you wanna communicate the maximum amount of value in the top fold of your profile before there's any scrolling that's taking place so that you're capturing their attention and you convince them to scroll further. And you do that to Bradley's point, you know, engaging profile picture, uh, a, a relevant, unique background picture, your headline, all those things. Mm -hmm.